everybody, welcome to a winter in Poland. Uh, how about a series of videos to keep us all together over the winter season? First of all, allow me to welcome everybody back from Thanksgiving break. I hope you had a good re-entry. Now it's time to focus on a winter in Poland. First of all, let's take this opportunity to make sure your information is updated in final forms. As our all call system pulls that information from there, which allows you to receive all the all calls, emails, texts, and other alerts. Reminder, in the event of inclement weather, we have two options. Option number one is a two hour delay. Option number two is a school closure. We communicate all this to our local news networks, our website, all of our social media, and of course our all call system. So please make sure you're all up to date. Winter in Poland also means our student athletes. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all the student athletes a great and safe winter season. That includes our swimmers, our divers, our wrestlers, and our basketball players. Good luck to everybody. A winter in Poland also means we only have 10 days until Christmas vacation. So let's focus strong, focus on finishing strong, and enjoying the holidays with our families. Winter in Poland also brings us new district calendars, which are, you can click here and find them online. The new district calendar ha has been approved and we're returning to an old school look. Shorter breaks, but longer summer vacations. Uh, we have an after Labor Day start for next year and an end date in early June, which I know a lot of people wanted to return to. We also approved a two year calendar to better help you plan ahead and for the future. Both calendars again can be found on our website. Winter in Poland also means that we have a March emergency renewal levy on the ballot. In March, Poland will indeed place an emergency renewal level on the ballot. It has been approved by the taxpayers of Poland since 1984. It generates $1,068,055 and has a millage rate of 1.77. Again, let's stay focused, stay positive, and stay warm for yet another brutal winter in Poland. Take care.